Hello and welcome to the Listies Make You Lolcast Who Dealt It series. Matt, stop doing the podcast. Okay. We have a very important announcement. What is it? We are doing a whole series of shows from the 3rd to the 13th of January at Bondi Pavilion, Bondi Beach. Random sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. a good one. <laughs> Pop on your togs, sand off your sandwiches, kids, and pack the budgies in the smugglers because we are going to Bondi Beach to do a whole season of Make Some Noise for Sydney Festival. The baby's back. That's right. If you want to find some tickets, you can do so by going to our website, which is uh, www.thelisties.com. See you there, Sydney. Let's do the episode. Let's go. Who dealt it? Was it Nan? Was it Thursday? Was it Glenn? Who dealt it? There's not even a person whose name is Glenn. Or maybe that, no, it's Colin, isn't it? That's the dad. Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Listies Make You Lolcast. Matt, we interrupt the broadcast of Who Dealt It for this very special mini episode. We need the audience's help. We've met all the suspects. Yep, Uh, know all of the evidence. Yes. We've sniffed out all of the clues. We have followed the twists and turns of the miasma as it's drifted through the streets and alleyways of Danny Do. But we got to tell you, everybody, we're stuck. We don't know. We don't know who dealt it. We need your help. Oh, there's so many people involved in the mystery. Oh, like, so many who, who have we got? We talked first up, we talked to the police officer. Oh, that's true. Uh, yeah, uh, we um, did. Her name was Constable Who. Who? That's right. That's her name. The Constable. Yes. Yeah, what was their name? Who? Yes, the constable. That's what I'm anyway, saying. Anyway, we spoke to them. Yes. And they laid out all of the situation. Yes. And then after that, we spoke to... Tracy Decibel, who helped analyse the sound. So that was the sort of evidence of the scene of the crime. But then we spoke to Colin. Who's the dad. The dad. And the dad has recently changed onto a gut health diet. Yes. Which, that's got to affect him, doesn't it? Well, it's true. But also, there was a bit of a suspicion that came later because he had some crumbs in his beard because they went camping. Yeah. But did he stick to the gut health diet? Because if he didn't... Uh Could have been him. You don't make farts with salad. It could have been him with a butt in the car wash. Okay. Then after that, we spoke to... Lance. Lance, who was running for school president. And I think we found out that... It was school captain, Matt. Let's be accurate. I'm so sorry. Okay. Accuracy is very important in an investigation. And you know what else is? What? Listening to all of the clues. Because when we asked him questions on the lie detector machine, and he got really stressed, he started clucking like a chicken. Uh, And he said that he can't lie. Yes. So maybe it was him? Don't know. It's too confusing. Then we went to the library. Oh, yeah. And we because we were really clever. Yep. Um, and well, it was actually a complete coincidence. Uh, and Thursday was there. Oh, yes. Yes. And then she said that she only farted once a year on her birthday. And that's why they call her candles. Yeah. And then we got that video, so it could be her. Yes. But then also we went to Nan's house. We oh, spoke to I Nan forgot about lot. that. We did a steak out, or for our vegan listeners. A mushroom out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, exactly. And then we followed her and she went to this warehouse and then she got these beans, but I thought she was off the beans. Yeah. But then, remember we went to that amazing... Um, it was actually, it was probably the best episode of the podcast. Oh, so yeah, far. I knew you'd say that. Uh, yeah. It was, it was so, when you took it was over. Hard journalism. Yeah. Uh, and Without spoke, any consultation with spoke, the team. We spoke to the car and the doggy. Did the butler do it? Was it the butler? I mean, that's a bit of a classic, isn't that, it? The car seemed a bit evil and it could produce smells. It's true. And then the dog, it was a bit of an unreliable witness, really, because according to the dog, everything smells good. Yeah, that's true. There are no good smells, no bad smells. <laughs> Just smells. Oh, well, I, I, as the dog said, sniff, sniff. Yeah, I just, I learned more from that episode than I thought I would. You're welcome, everybody. Now, we're stuck. I think we need to turn it over to you. What we listener. want you to do is we want you to record your theory as a short voice note. Ooh. 20 to 30 seconds. Yes. Using your phone. Just, uh, you don't have to get a too elaborate if with it. If you don't have a phone, maybe you could borrow um, a parent's phone. Yeah, or and a or if a parents want to work out how to record something on their phone, they could ask their kids for That's help. That's very, they're actually very good. Yeah. They know, they know he's more Just as parents. a voice note, it doesn't matter if it's like not amazing quality, but it would be good if you didn't do it next to like the airport. Under or a helicopter. Under a helicopter. Or uh, next to your dad on the toilet. Next to a leaf blower. That, yeah, don't do that. Yeah, and then you email it to admin at thelisties.com. Or if that sounds too complicated, you can just send your theories in an email and we will read them out live on air because it's up to you to solve the mystery of who dealt it. That's right. Just once again, that email, admin, A D. M-I-N at thelisties.com. I think that was the most exciting email I could come up with, Matt. Well done, Rich. Thank you. That's it. Let's hear your theories. We can't wait. Who dealt it, Matt? Who did it? I wish I knew. Who dealt it? Who did 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 it?
Why does it smell like that? Was it you who dealt it? Yeah, who dealt it? Who dealt it? I, I can smell it. Who dealt it? Who smelt it? Bye, everybody. Who Dealt It was written and performed by us, the, the Listies. Listies. Additional voices by Olivia Shara Lambos. Mixed, designed and mastered by Thomas Kuntz. A big shout out to the City of Melbourne Arts Grants Programme. Woohoo! Now, look, if you'd like to support this show uh, and the Listies, the absolute best, best thing you can do is to recommend us to one of your friends or a cousin or a school friend or a cat that listens to podcasts. Yeah, or you could leave a review on iTunes. That would be amazing. Oh, come and see us live. We're always on tour. Yep, we're going to be in the Sydney Festival in Sydney at the Bondi Pavilion in January. But before that, we're doing heaps of Christmas shows all around Melbourne. Join our mailing list to find out more. See you soon, everybody. Bye. Thanks for listening. This podcast was written and recorded on the lands of the Wurundjeri, of the Kulin Nation. 